Hi there, Jeff Rose from Experimental Home Center, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Oh, well, the temperature has dropped. Um, it's trying to snow. It's been spitting flakes off and on all day. Um, we have a small amount of accumulation, but not much. It's mainly just, you know, just a few flakes in the air, but it's cold. Um, and unfortunately last night, uh, I, uh, I took apart the kerosene heater because it wasn't working right. And I got part of it working again, but it still isn't working right. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Possibly it's the wick, I'm not sure. Um, but it's just not, it's not burning right and not generating the, uh, the temperatures that it should. Um, so at this point I'm, um, <laughs> I, I'm seriously, uh, considering, um, getting the baseboard heater hooked in. Um, I've got one. I just need a thermostat for it and I need to run the wiring for it. And I'm really, really seriously considering that that's going to be uh, the best option at this point. Um, I think it actually would save us some money because even if I get the kerosene heater going again, I start doing some calculations and uh, I think it will cost us less in electricity to uh, get the baseboard heater going than to uh, operate the kerosene heater. I mean, it's a nice kerosene heater. It's, it's, I, I love it. Um, when it was working, when we first got it going and it was working great, um, I mean, it was it blasts out the heat. Um, but I started calculating how much the kerosene costs and to run it all the time, you know, full blast, um, it was going to cost us quite a bit. Um, so I think... I think seriously, I'm going to have to look into, you know, getting this baseboard heater hooked in and uh, running it instead. Um, it may not be, I, I think I may still be a little shy of being able to uh, properly heat uh, all of the house that we're using at this point with this baseboard heater in addition to the ones we've already got hooked up, but uh, it'll be close. And then I can work on the, the kerosene heater and use it as a supplement, I think, so that we're not using uh, as much kerosene. But uh, I've got to figure out what what the actual problem is, whether it's the wick or whether it's something else that's, that's not operating right. So we'll see. Um, you know, I'm learning all sorts of new things every time, every time I turn around. So, um, but, uh, you know, I figured out last night how, how to actually take it apart and replace the wick. So if that's what I need to do, that's, you know, I've already figured out how to do it. So, um, I just have to, to get there. So, but anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. So, uh, please subscribe. Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and, uh, We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.